Hey guys, today's video is the second video in the audio for video series I recently started. We're going to be talking about how to pick the right microphone for recording audio in your videos. In the previous video of this series, we spoke about the four major setups for recording audio in your videos. And if you missed that, make sure to check it out. I'll put a link somewhere up here. In this video, we're going to discuss the various types of microphones that are available to you, as well as what applications those microphones are best suited for. The best way to describe any microphone is by its polar or pickup pattern. A polar pattern simply describes how sensitive a microphone is to sounds from different angles in relation to its central axis. So in other words, a polar pattern describes the directionality of the microphone. The easiest way to visualize this directionality is by actually looking at the polar patterns graphically. So I'm going to outline these six major polar patterns as well as give an example of a situation where using each one of them would be most ideal. I'll also list an inexpensive option for video that you should probably consider having a look at for each case. Number one, we have the cardioid pickup pattern. This is one of the most popular pickup patterns because it is useful in many different situations. A cardioid microphone is slightly directional and does not pick up any audio from the rear of the microphone as shown in the illustration. This type of mic is good for situations when you want to focus on one sound source and block sounds from the sides. An example of this would be a singer on a stage. The Paulson SCL1075 is a good example of a cardioid mic. From the outside, it appears to be a shotgun mic, but it does not have a pickup pattern that a true shotgun mic exhibits. Second, we have the omnidirectional microphone. And from the graphical illustration, it's easy to see that this type of polar pattern picks up audio from all directions equally. The audio coming out of omnidirectional mics is usually very natural and realistic sounding because it doesn't favor audio coming from any specific direction. But because of this, these mics tend to be the noisiest. An omnidirectional mic would be good in a situation where there isn't too much control on the movement of the sound source. So for example, if a person is recording dialogue in a non-fixed position or situation where a lot of head movement is required. A good example of an omnidirectional mic is a standard lavalier mic like the Rode Smart Love Plus. The third pattern is the hypercardioid polar pattern. This pickup pattern is great for when you really want to isolate your audio source. From the graphical illustration, you can see that the major difference between cardioid and hypercardioid is the rear and side audio that is picked up. This type of pickup pattern mostly appears in small shotgun mics that are designed for instrument recordings. A good example of a hypercardioid microphone is the Bayer Dynamic M201 TG Classic. The fourth pickup pattern is the Super Cardioid Polar Pattern. Like the hypercardioid pattern, this too allows for a more directional pickup. And from the graphical illustration, it's easy to see that hypercardioid and supercardioid are very similar. Supercardioid mics work best in screenplay type situations where everything is scripted. The supercardioid pattern picks up less noise from the back compared to the hypercardioid. A good example of an inexpensive supercardioid microphone is the Samson CO2, which is sold as a stereo pair designed for recording instruments, though still very usable for video. The fifth polar pattern is known as the unidirectional or lober pickup pattern. This is not a very common pickup pattern because it can only be delivered by specific shotgun mics and even so, this polar pattern technically can't be 100% achieved. From the illustration, it's easy to see that the pickup pattern is very tight and directional. There's a lot of rear pickup and some slight pickup from the side. It's really difficult to picture a situation where you'd need to use a unidirectional mic because they are very difficult to use. However, they can be used in film and movie sets. An example of a unidirectional mic is the Marantz Professional Audioscope SG9P. Finally, the sixth pickup pattern is called the bidirectional or figure eight polar pattern. And as the name suggests, this picks up audio in the shape of a figure eight. A bidirectional mic picks up audio equally from the front as it does the back while the sides are blocked out. These mics are generally used by podcasters and radio show hosts. They really aren't ideal for video. A good example of a bidirectional microphone that is relatively inexpensive is the Blue Yeti. So those are the six major polar pickup patterns. It's important to note that the pickup patterns that you should be on the lookout for when getting your own mic for video applications are the cardioid, supercardioid, omnidirectional, and in very rare cases, hypercardioid. 
After getting the right microphone, it's also important to acquire a good audio interface or sound mixer to be able to plug in and deliver phantom power to your microphone as well as record audio. The next video in this audio for video series will be focused on how to pick out the right sound mixer or audio interface for your needs. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video has been useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.